So I put some resin in this last night and it still hasn't gone hard, so that's a bit of a disaster. Uh, it has been cold though, so I'm gonna give it a beasting with the double lamp. So the resin is starting to dry now. I didn't put a lot of it in there in the first place. Whoa, that's getting too hot. The mold in the middle, see? It started to melt. Just there. Oh, so firstly, I didn't use a lot. I used 170 grams mil, same thing really, of resin. Four grams of hardener, but it was very cold. Uh, I don't know if the 170 mil, or how much of it is leaked perhaps because of how long it's been set here overnight, but what you want it to do is you want it to really go off in an hour or two and then you leave it to fully set. But anyway, that's going hard, so I'll probably end up putting some more resin in there afterwards when it's all gone off, because you can do that. Uh, it's not perfect, but as long as the magnet's staying, it'll be fine. The second disc outside, I'm warming that up with a halogen lamp, and then I'm gonna pour the resin in that. So I've got the tub with some uh, resin in it, 300 grams of resin, 10 grams of hardener, stroke catalyst, whatever you want to call it. So it's a 3.3% volume. Found a really good way to level these discs up as they've got bolts sticking out the bottom. They're not perfectly flat. I just found pushing a screwdriver in, leveled it one way, and then a bolt, which is obviously slightly raised, so it's at a very slight angle. And that worked a treat. So... I'm going to give this disc 10 minutes to get nice and warm and then I'm going to pour the resin in which is there and which will start to set. Here's the other disc, the resin's finally going hard but you see there's nowhere near enough resin in it really. But it will be enough to uh, secure the magnets on there. And remember these were crappy year old magnets that were about three years old. And the discs are about eight years old being used a few different times so it isn't all new stuff I'm working with a lot of used stuff that's the way I like it free stuff if you can get free stuff and stuff that you can stop being thrown in the scrap heap so that's another thing uh, to try and do all the time that's not bad the reason you need it perfectly level is because you don't want more, a lot more resin in one side than the other, and that's to do with the weight it's going to be as it's going to be going around. If there's 50 grams more on one side of the disc than there is the other, then that would probably make a difference. So I've got it flat. It's nice and clean. It's got this stuff super glued in, which someone said they didn't think it was a good idea, but I think it will work. We shall soon see. I've still got to sort the tower out yet. Yeah, that's the the main job that's next so yeah i'm just waiting for this to warm up and then we'll check the resin in sweet right that's taken out the chill off it it's all level so in with the goodness Oops, sorry, I was trying to hold the camera and pour the goodness. There's loads more than in this one than there is in the other one. thing about this resin it's so clear yeah, those last bits out it's 
So the deed is done. Once it's done, there's no going back. So I've got this lamp on here and I'm gonna leave it for 20 minutes and then come back. Peace. So this is the first disc. It's quite misleading because it's clear, but you might be able to see where it goes up the side of the magnets there. If you can see all the beautiful little swirls in the top. So that was a chronic underestimation of the amount of resin I needed, which was in fact, let's say 300 grams. So I shall add some more and we shall go see what's going on with the second one. So this one has been under these lamps for one hour, 20 minutes. That was 300 grams stroke mill of resin and 10 of hardener stroke catalyst. So this one will require a few more hours. Gonna leave the heat on, see how it goes. Okay, that's leaked out the back so I didn't have the, uh, didn't spend enough time doing the tape properly, but that, that'll just chip off. And I'm hoping that will still be fairly level. I didn't realise that. This is one of them. Quite pleased with it, none of it's cracked. Uh, whether it's strong enough remains to see, it should be. It's got the stuff all around the side, just needs a bit of trimming up. And this is the other one, no cracks or anything. Just a bit of cleaning up to do. Weird using clear resin, no fiber. It's nearly hammer time. So yes, I put some insulating tape around it, and especially around the edge. I've gone round with two separate strips and tried to keep it forced right in. So hopefully no leaks. It's no big deal if there's little leak anyway, it just happens. So yeah, I'm going to weigh out the resin. I think I'm going to go with one and a half kilos and then we'll take it from there, please. So that's 1200 milliliters or 1 1.2 liter of resin. Uh, 1.2 liter, 1.2 liters, as they would say, and that will take a while to go off at this temperature. So I'm going to leave it in the tub, give it a good stir at least a whole minute. And probably best two or three minutes if you can get everything in there, and then we're going to leave it settle. Uh, probably will get air bubbles in it, but that's just the way it is. It's one of those things. Uh, the air sometimes congregates on the inside of the lid, but anyway, yeah, that's that. That's the ratio I'm using. Uh, I think that's 2.5%. And so I'll get the stator in there and think about getting the juice in. Right, I'm just gonna pour some. So I'm getting a bit carried away, enjoying the resining and forgetting that I'm trying to film at the same time. So that's about half the resin in there. It's pretty damn clear. You can see it just going over to the edge. So let's put the camera down while I lock the uh, beastie in. to check that this is in the right place. So let's add another 300 mil and that looks good to me so I've got to get my busy on and squash the lid down and then we have to pray for the best. Peace. So unfortunately it's not looking too good at the moment because I've got some resin that's come out the top which hasn't dried yet so I'm applying heat to it. It's been in overnight uh, so 
it's not warm enough really so I'm hoping that when that there hasn't been too much of a leak there is some that's where it was there isn't a lot of resin on there there's none on the floor so hopefully too much hasn't leaked out and uh, yeah, we shall see. From what I can tell, it looks like the, the level may have dropped a bit inside. But this area here, that resin is still wet. So I've got to give it some heat and hope that that, that stuff dries. So it's about one o'clock. Uh, I'm going out for a few hours. So probably going to pop it about five o'clock six o'clock peace and uh, pray for some goodness god bless you don't try this at home folks don't try this at home oops sorry uh yeah so we've got some resin on the outside i may have had to do a second pour and i don't know if i mixed the hardener enough so we've got some resin that hasn't solidified so I'm just giving it some real heat and then hopefully it won't be a complete disaster still sticky there good that's going hard Whew. touch wood it's all good in the hood yeah boys Ooh. yeah don't try this at home these uh, 400 watt pieces will set fire and stuff indiscriminately and very effectively so don't do this this is a good idea though having the stator on uh, these legs so you can get underneath it so you can use the heat source to warm it up i definitely recommend doing that if you're going to make one so these blocks are about elevated obviously you would then have to use a spirit level to make sure everything's all good and then you can use something underneath maybe something not as aggressive as this to heat it up but it's definitely doing the trick now at last all this stuff just wasn't going hard and i thought it maybe i didn't mix the second lot of hardener in well enough but now i've applied some heat these lamps are brilliant uh, it seems to be doing the job so I'm just leaving this to heat each bit for 30 seconds and then I'm just moving it round and round and I'll do that for an hour. Then I'll turn this one, this bottom one off and I'll, I'll keep these two on. It's quite handy, this lamp, you can adjust it. So I've done this side for three hours, so I'm now doing this side. And like I say, moving that round a bit, 30 seconds, move it round to here, then to here, then to here. So I got it. Uh, I got the stator out, and it's not perfect, and they're not lined up that well. But it works, and it creates power. Uh, I've checked all the. Sorry, I've got this on a tripod. So hang on a sec. I've checked all the phases by joining them together and putting them on a multimeter. So this is one AC phase. I haven't got any uh, rectifiers. Give it a good swing. But up to 30 a couple of times. Doesn't look too bad on that score. Not much of a gap. We've got some bolts welded on. I don't know if there'll be enough on their own, but 
Yeah, I just want to show you. So that's definitely got a countless of success. It's got a big uh, crack in there. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Whoa, the vice needs another bolt. So that's AC, but... That's AC, but we shall see. I just wanted to quickly mock it up to show you there are some places where the resin didn't go as good as it could have done because of tape. Uh, so what I've had to do is, cut, is trim the tape off. See it there? Trim the tape off, but everything's nice and flat. And like I say, it 100% produces power, so uh, DC rectifiers are on the shopping list and i got to get thinking about the tower, etc. But I'd say that was a success. So, peace.